guys, welcome once again to It's Time to Play, and as always, we're going to be taking a classic console game, we're going to be reliving some of that nostalgia, but most importantly, we're going to have some fun, and today that game is Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, and today we're actually playing this for the Sega Genesis, not the arcade version today, and uh, while in some ways it's it's not as good as the, the arcade version, I suppose it's still pretty fun, but either way, we're going to have a look at it, and uh, we're going to take it apart as we do a bit of a playthrough now. And uh, as you can expect, you play Michael Jackson here. I thought this was the coolest intro ever. He does his little dance move, throws a quarter in the jukebox, and then we've got Smooth Criminal going straight away. I think that's awesome. So anyway, uh, the goal of this game is pretty simple. Uh, I think there's uh, I think there's uh, three levels to every stage, or three stages to every level, whatever you want to call it. And uh, the goal is to uh, look through all the doors, the windows, rescue all the children, and then you'll get to the final level showdown. It's it kind of works in the way of a boss battle, but it's uh, more of a survival scenario, which we'll get to when we get there. Uh, there's lots of Michael Jackson cliches in this game, which is also pretty good. Uh, you get some help later on in the game by Bubbles the Monkey, which I always thought was pretty nice, because uh, that was Michael Jackson's best friend in the whole world. And uh, cool, alright, we can rescue another kid here. Sometimes there, there is some annoyances in this game, like the action and the gameplay are very smooth, very fluid. And uh, they're fun enough for the most part. Actually, sometimes it's a bit of a hassle to hit the diagonal button uh, to go up these stairs. But I think that's just because I'm using a, an Xbox 360 controller. And uh, those diagonal directions on those controllers are a little bit... Uh, well, there's no margin for error, put it that way. But anyway, I'm going to keep rescuing the kids here now. And uh, awesome, more children. Yeah, the only annoying thing is there is some backtracking involved if you've somehow missed a, a sort of a cryptic secret. Sometimes some of the doors and windows aren't so obvious to check. And uh, you might find yourself backtracking a little bit, which is probably the most annoying part about this game. But once uh, once you've rescued all the kids, and here we have, you've got Bubbles the Monkey come and pretty much let you know where the final boss battle is, or whatever it is. Um, not really required, I guess, but a nice little gimmicky thing to include in the game. And here we go. Can't remember what that uh, enemy is from Moonwalker. Like, it's probably Mr. Big or something. It seems to always be a Mr. Big in these type of games. But anyway, uh, comment below and let me know what he's called anyway. I've forgotten off the top of my head. I have watched Moonwalker. It was many years ago. And I think most of us that actually watched Moonwalker were watching Moonwalker for probably the music and not the actual story. Uh, so I only remember the songs in that movie rather than the actual movie itself. So I think I could be defended there. But anyway, we're going to go on to the next level here now. And uh, it's all kind of a lot of the same thing here as you can see. So it does get a little bit tedious uh, after a little while. Uh, what's good though is at least after three levels, uh, you do get a new location. So uh, while the gameplay can get a little bit repetitive, at least uh, you're always sort of given something new. See, I suppose, but it's all it's all pretty much the same thing. It's just all about rescuing these damn children. And uh yeah, hopefully Michael can rescue them pretty quickly. <laughs> I tell you what though, no matter no matter how average or not the gameplay is, it's worth playing this just to hear the cool 16-bit remixes of all of Michael Jackson's music. And uh, this is a very good version of Smooth Criminal here. As you can see, I was having trouble getting back up the stairs there again. We're not playing on a very hard difficulty today. Main reason being is I wanted this video to last more than a couple seconds. So I think the gameplay in this playthrough is a little bit too easy if I'm going to be totally honest. But uh, we we'll just roll with it, hey? And uh, when you hold up, you'll just do a random dance move. I don't think that's supposed to do anything. I think it's just like a hidden not a hidden feature, but just added feature just for Michael Jackson fans that like to see him dance, but uh, the R button pretty much just checks these doors and windows apart from that. <clears throat> and so yeah, I, I forgot to mention the other buttons actually, so you've got a, a jump button, you've got an attack button which you'll do like a kick, or if you collect a hat I think you'll also use a hat as a boomerang, so you get like the Australian Michael Jackson version. And uh, uh, there's this also this button where you can dance, and you'll sort of have uh, temporary invincibility, and you'll pretty much uh, destroy everyone on the screen, but that will drain your health. Um, 
just much like in other fighting games like Final Fight or whatever. But uh, every time you rescue a kid, it looks like you get some of your health back. So uh, it's not too costly to use that uh, special move, I suppose, if you get caught in a spot of bother in this game. Gosh, hopefully I've almost found all those kids. Ah, shut up, Michael. You go down here, finally. I think these are the only ones I haven't checked. Ah, get off the stairs, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright, that's it. So where we have to go, but of course we have to go back up the stairs. That'd be right. All the way to the top. Damn it, get up those stairs, Michael. Gosh. Again, I can't remember if the Genesis controls are these touchy, but it's really hard to go up in a diagonal direction. In this. And uh, I don't want to see you dance. I've seen you dance enough. <laughs> and up and to the right, Bubbles is telling me. So you need to go back up these stairs. Oh, gosh. Okay, here we go. I might try using my special move in this battle for a change. We've got a full health, so let's see what happens here. Ah, so using your special in this will allow him to use your hat as a boomerang. That's interesting. Now, I must have got a little bit confused, because in the arcade version, he'll start dancing with everyone. I kind of prefer to see that, to be honest. Anyway, how you get, you get a time for how quick you finish each game too so there's some replayability as well if you want to beat your times or whatever you have to write them down though there's no battery backup in this and I don't think there's a way it actually keeps your high score so unless you write it down it's kind of pointless <coughs> excuse me nothing in there Alright. Yeah, so, this game was literally the most awesome thing ever growing up. But, uh, I suppose gameplay wise, wise, it really doesn't hold up that well today. I can't picture myself doing this for much more than 10 15 minutes before I get bored and turn the Seeger off. That guy looks like one of the dudes that was in this film clip, I'm pretty sure. They've definitely done a good job at least to get the whole Michael Jackson feel into this game. It's not like they've just put Michael, licensed Michael Jackson and just thrown him into a game. This actually does feel like something uh, that you'd see in a Michael Jackson film clip, movie, or uh, a new story even. Oh, I can't remember where we have to go now. I think we need to rescue two more kids, so we must have to go all the way back up these damn stairs. Oh, gosh. See, there is, a, as I said, there is a lot of uh, backtracking in this. It is really tedious. we've done this. I think we have to go one level further. Yeah, we've got to go one level further up. How do we get to that top floor? That's really interesting. I'm not sure how we get up there. Do we have to hit this? Oh, there we go. You've got to dance and bring the staircase down. That's a bit cryptic, isn't it? Knew it had to be something. So surely there'll be two kids up here somewhere. Oh, black cats, we don't like them. Alright. Get out of here. There's, a girl, there's girls in the way. Okay, there's nothing there anyway. There we go, so we finally got a boss battle. Carrying on here. <laughs> oh, 
I, may, maybe I'd be a little bit more, uh, or maybe I'd find a little bit more enjoyment in this game, I think, if the difficulty level was higher. I know I put it to, uh, easy, but I mean, there's a difference between easy and kindergarten. I mean, I've had absolutely no trouble in this experience yet, and everything's been hitting me. Michael! Michael! We got no time bonus? Why not? Okay, so we got bad now, or is that just the... What beat it was this level? Yeah, it is beat at this level. So as you can see, there's some more obstacles in this level now. You open the wrong windows, you might get blown up by a bomb and stuff. I do kind of like that we don't have to walk up and down so many damn stairs in this level at least. It goes a little bit quicker. Just uh... I was really starting to find that first area very, very tedious. So, uh, this is a little bit more fun now. It's a bit more action orientated. A lot of cryptic hiding spots to find these damn children in, though. But, uh, I don't mind this kind of challenge, I suppose. It just didn't, uh, I mean, I don't mind playing hide and seek, because at least I don't feel like, uh, I'm backtracking too much in this game. It's pretty pretty easy to get everywhere you need to at the very least. I think we have to hop from building to building. Oh, damn it. Press the wrong button. There we go. We need a big old jump to get there. Hopefully there's two kids in here. One. Oh, no. Oh, there's a girl up here too. And just like that, this level, I think, is... Oh, we do have to jump on this. Okay. No, get up there. We must have to jump from here. There we go. I knew it was something. Why does it have to be so complicated for? So, cross and down. Thank you very much for all that you do, Bubbles. Really appreciate it. And back in business. I mean, this whole survival thing is okay, but it would have been nice if you actually had actual bosses, I guess, in this game. Though, to be fair, I suppose in a Michael Jackson film clip and movie, when is he ever fighting, like, a big boss enemy? He's not. So I guess this kind of makes more sense. Come on, I like my boss fights. Alright, back at it. Oh, I remember this. You're going to look in the hoods of the car this time. This is another one of those levels uh, we're going to travel from floor to floor. But hey, at least uh, we can use the elevator this time. It was a pain trying to get those damn uh, staircases to work. Ah, crap. And, uh, you're not going to really... I wouldn't assume that you'd get too lost with uh, hiding places in this. Trunks of cars are pretty basic. There we go. A lot of kids to rescue this level though. That was close, wasn't it? Yeah, pretty t uh, typical stereotyping. Uh, what did I say? Stereotyping. Let's start again. Pretty stereo uh, typical looking uh, 80s enemies here too. All dressed in denim, got like uh, their headbands, bandanas going. Kind of reminds me of Mikey's brother from the Goonies. I can hardly put a coherent sentence together again today. Alright, back at it. I bet we have to go all the way back down the stairs for this next boss fight again. So at least we found all the children pretty easily. I know, we can stay up here by the looks of it. Well, that's convenient. Nothing too difficult, really, was it? Okay. So we're just still going with the motions. Oh, we got to hear another car park? I have a feeling there was a couple car parks in this. I bet those manholes are bad. Maybe I should check them just in case. I just have a feeling there's something in there. Nah, he just popped his crutch out. 
It's all good, Michael. Thanks for that. Oh, so this looks like it's a mixture of car park and street. So it's a little bit, a little bit complicated, isn't it? So I haven't found a damn child yet. There we go. So we have to jump from platform to gosh. It's more complicated than what a demo has to be. Oh, we can't. How we? How we? Oh, come on. We'll try this again. There must be an easy way to get up there. Uh, it doesn't make sense. Do I do this? How do I? How the hell do I get up? Must be a way to get up here then. Maybe we'll figure it out later. We'll just carry on for now. Maybe we're going to jump off the top of the car park. We're going to find out anyway. It makes sense. Yeah, it looks like that's a, that's a go. Let's get back up here. Doesn't seem to be too many children just lying around though, does there? So we'll see if we can jump off here and land on something. There we go. You had to be something like this. So where are all those other damn kids? I've pretty much looked everywhere already. Maybe there are in the manholes and stuff. I can't, I can't search those doors, but it, it kind of makes me feel like that you can. Can you search a car door? Oh, that's cryptic crap. I'm pretty sure I checked that, but anyway, what about the manhole? Ah, so it's a secret entrance! This game is bullshit, seriously. Oh, so we got one kid in there. Surely we're gonna find another one. It's gonna be lying around somewhere. <laughs> Just talking about kids like they're an object. There we go, awesome! Again, more difficult than it freaking had to be. Go up, jump up the stairs, Mike. What are you doing? Awesome. <clears throat> Let's see what this survival wave is. The, th uh, the thing with this, uh, using Michael special in this game too, is there's such a delay before you execute a move. Uh, you just leave yourself open to a, a bunch of hits, so the special move is kind of pointless in a sense. And uh. Pretty much when you just use your regular move, it's one hit kills anyway. So you've got this cool feature that's kind of uh, well, obsolete really in this game essentially. Maybe it'll come in more handy later on, I don't know. But it's not uh, doing anything for us in this regular play so far. Can we hit this stupid dog? Are we supposed to get this grey dog? There we go, hit him once. I have a feeling I'm supposed to destroy this dog. Get back up there. Okay, it'd be, it'd be nice if it was clear what we had to do. Crap. Man, this is the first challenging bit of the game I've actually experienced. I don't know if you call it challenging or tedious, though. So. Oh, I lost a life. Hopefully we don't have to do that whole entire level all over again. That would really suck. Oh, good. That's a relief. Oh, we'll try one more time. Get the silver dog. It's not easy to hit either. Because once, because you. You stumble when you get hit, and then he jumps to another spot, and ugh, this is just tedious. I hate it! How did I ever enjoy this game when I was a kid? Seriously. Oh, maybe it only gets a pass because of the music, seriously. Oh, fuck you! Seriously! Oh, come on! There we go. There we go, got him a couple times. Oh, seriously! This is like, uh... 
the, the pattern that these enemies are floating on, it kind of reminds me of a Capcom or Castlevania game, seriously. Finally! Or a Konami game, rather. Oh, jeez. In the woods. I can't remember this level. I don't know there was a graveyard or something in one level. All music's in this. Oh, so this is, uh... Is it all of me or a part of me? I can't remember the name of this song very well. Um, but I always assumed that Thriller was one of the soundtracks in these games. And, uh, uh it's this song instead. Which I don't mind. It's still, it's still a nice sounding song, but, uh... I swear there was Thriller in one of the versions of Moonwalker, but maybe it's just sort of that whole uh, Mandala thing and I'm just remembering something that never happened, I don't know. You've probably seen that video with the Angry Video Game Nerd. Mandala effect. I de it definitely happens to me in my life, that's for sure. Okay. Alright. Uh, where's this last kid at? He can't spit on all these things. Hmm, that's interesting. So I've missed one kid from somewhere, and so we're going to have to backtrack over and over and over until we find that son bitch. Oh gosh. No, I guess you don't look at the gravestones. They'd kind of be morbid anyway, in a sense, wouldn't it? You sort of go look at bushes and stuff. So hopefully there's just one we've missed. Oh, there we go. Easy enough. Now, come on, Bubbles. Where are we going to go? All right. I guess we just have to jump and hit him. I can barely reach up there. Can I... Oh, maybe if I go here. Eh. There's a lot of zombies this time. It just ramped up the difficulty all of a sudden. Is there like a king uh, zombie that I need to hit? I feel like I've been doing this forever. This is really annoying. There must be a way I have to jump up. Maybe I just keep hitting that spin button while I jump. Take a chance on that. Come here, you zombie son bitch. There we go, we got him. Ah. Graves this time? Yeah, they look to check a ball this time around. <sighs> I originally played this game on Sega Master System, and uh, I really enjoyed it on that, actually. Probably, I don't know if I'd say more so in this, because it was so long ago, but I know, again, it, maybe it's just one of those things that I sort of enjoyed because I was a kid and didn't know any better. Because uh, this is the same guy that used to hire out Ultimate Beast on the Sega Master System and thought that was a good game when I was a kid. And uh, that's terrible. So I, I guess I guess your memories of these games when you're growing up, uh, I mean, you're a lot more tolerant. Uh, considering the technology you have available at, this, at the time, I guess your expectations wouldn't be as high. And, uh, I used to play the Master System of version of Moonwalker a lot. I, uh, a lot. I just don't think I could probably do it again now. This is a Sega Genesis version, and uh, this one's actually supposed to be better. Obviously, it was released um, exclusively in 16-bit, the new Genesis console, and uh, yeah, it's pretty average. It hasn't been the most fun gameplay experience today. Uh, have a look at these bushes. A couple more kids. Again, I think I've just missed one thing to check. 
Of course it's just been the one. We drop down on this planet. That might be here. No. Maybe this one. Maybe these two. There's got to be a shrub that I've missed. Can't have gone far. Stupid thing. Pretty sure we came up this way. Oh, come on! Alright, so we checked that one. What about this one? Oh, there you go. Now, where are we gonna go, Bubbles? Oh, jeez. Okay. I will catch you, sir. Yeah, again, okay, nothing too difficult here, just a bunch of charging zombies. And even when they do hit you, they don't take a lot of health. No, uh, we're just going to use our special here and just lay the smack down on everything. Oh, so you can dance in this one. you just got to hold on to it long enough. Well, that makes sense. Oh crap, okay, well that is a little bit tricky when they uh, throw their heads around. Ah, oh, I probably shouldn't have wasted that special. Ah, oh, damn it, we're going to have to do this all over again. Ah. I won't drain the special this time. Okay, let's get this done. Haha, ha, you'll never catch me. We've well, been saying that every single level, level so far, so I'm starting to believe you. And they just keep on coming and coming. really tricky. Oh, so you can only uh, punch them again once they're whole, I think. So you need to run after them. Well, this is cutting it pretty close. I might die again. Can you duck going? Damn it. Well, you can't even duck it, so you have to jump over it or what? Oh, no. Ah, oh, no. Oh, bummer. Well, that looks like us gone, guys. This was Michael Jackson's Moonwalker on the Sega Genesis, and if you love Michael Jackson and his music, it's a worth a playthrough at least once to relive the nostalgia. As far as the game goes, uh, this isn't that fantastic, let's be honest. As always, guys, we appreciate having you here, and uh, if you like what we do, please share, subscribe, tell your friends about us, and we'll see you next time.